So we're going to look at tree diagrams as a way to lay out probability and make uh, the working out of um, these questions a little easier. So the best way to show you is with an example. We've got this example that the chance that Will has an internal due on any given school day is 5%. On normal days he's absent 2% of the time, but on a day with an internal due his absence rate has been 80%. Show this on a tree diagram. So first of all, we're just going to summarise that data at the top of this next slide so that uh, we can have the space to do the tree diagram. So we've got probability of internal, 0.05. Probability of absence is 0.02, but if an in internal's due, it's 0.8. So we've got either the internal is due or it's not due. So we have the this branch of the tree we want to show the probability that on this particular day an internal is due. So that's where the 0 0.05 goes to. In this box here we need to put whatever would make that add up to 1 because we know that probabilities always have to add up to 1. So either he has an internal due or he doesn't. So that has to add up to 1. That's all of the possibilities. So this answer is going to have to be 0 0.95. OK, after we've decided if he's got an internal due or not, we can set up the next set of branches, which is he will either be absent or present. So that top half of the tree diagram is he has an internal due, then we'll decide whether he's absent or present, and the bottom half, he doesn't have an internal due, due and then we'll decide if he is absent or present after that situation. OK, so first of all, in this box here, we need to follow the line of thinking that he has an internal due. What's the probability that he's absent? So that's the 0 0.8. Again, remembering that our um, probabilities have to add up to 1. He's either absent or he isn't. There's nowhere in between. So that one has to be 0 0.2 to make that add up to 1. Now on the bottom half of the graph, if he's got no internal due... The chance of him being absent is 0 0.02. They have to add up to 1. So this one is 0 0.98 chance that he will be present. OK, so we'll just copy this across to the next slide. Now, what's the probability that he has no internal due and is absent? So we need to look for the branch that will give us that outcome. So we've got no internal due is a probability of 0.95. We've got this AND as our keyword here, which means that we are going to multiply. And the chance of him being absent on that branch where no internal is due is 0.02. So now the chance on any given day, if we pick it at random, he has no internal due and is absent, we'll find by multiplying those things together. Okay, what about the probability that he's absent, no matter what? Okay, so we can have a look at either he's absent with an internal due or he's absent with no internal due. So we already know that first one, that's the 0 0.019 that we just worked out. This one here will be the 0 0.05 times 0 0.8 to represent a day where he has an internal due and is absent. Now we can use this one or this one to get the answer that he's absent on that day. Now the keyword or means we're going to add those probabilities. So we get the total probability of him being absent is 0 0.059. That means that on any random day that we pick, the chances of him being absent is that 0 0.059. So the key thing to remember with tree diagrams, if you're looking across the branches, um, you're representing something and something else. So you're going to multiply. If you're looking between branches, then you're thinking about something um, as happening or the other thing happening. So you're going to add those two branches up together or maybe more than two.